Welcome to the devotions in this on New Year's Eve and we're continuing the story of Christmas as today we look once more at the wise men. So we're going to read from Matthew chapter 2 and verses 5 to 12. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea for so it is written by the prophet and you Bethlehem in the land of Judah are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way. And behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother. And they fell down and worshipped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned in their dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. Amen. The wise men initially came to the wrong place in their search for Jesus. And when it comes to looking for peace and hope, people can indeed look in the wrong place. But even when they've gone to Jerusalem, there they're pointed in the right direction and pointed through the scriptures, the word of God, particularly from the prophet Micah, which said that this ruler would indeed be born in Bethlehem. And you know, it's important that we all seek Christ. Whether we're Christians, we need to seek him, continue to seek him, to know him in a more wonderful way, a closer way. And if you're not a Christian, if you're not saved, if you're not born again, you need to seek Christ as well. And from the wise men, we can see the two great lights that indeed are given to us. There's the light of creation, symbolised in the star. And the world around us, which Christ has made, teaches us so much about his power, his wisdom, his goodness. And then there is the light of scripture, this special light, this clearer light, which teaches us all we need to know about God, about sin, ourselves, about salvation, about Jesus Christ. And so, if you want to know Christ, get into his word, get into reading the Bible. Maybe you're not someone who normally reads it. Start in the gospel. Start maybe even in Mark's gospel. Reading the Bible to get to know this Jesus. The wise men eventually come to Bethlehem. And it's interesting it says that they came to the house where the child was. And Jesus at this stage is probably one or two years old. And this picture we have of that night when Jesus is born, the shepherds arrived, then a short time after the wise men arrived, that isn't what happened. It speaks here of them entering the house. And it seems what happened is Mary and Joseph, when Jesus was born, and remember Bethlehem is the town where they came from, they settled in Bethlehem for a time. They stayed there and Jesus grew for the first year or so in that. We can, we'll think a wee bit of how we can know the time of that uh, in our next study tomorrow. But it's so for a period of time, Jesus had lived in Bethlehem and now the wise men come. He's a, he's a toddler. He is a, someone who is growing, but he is the saviour. And when the star rests over the house where Jesus was born, well, they're filled with exceeding joy, it says. They're delighted, they're thrilled with wonder. And you know, that picture is what it is to find Jesus. The joy, the peace, the hope that Jesus brings. And I wonder, are you a person with such joy, peace and hope? Have you come to know Jesus? And if you have come to know Jesus, I hope you're allowing the joy, the peace and the hope that Jesus brings to rule your life. So often we see Christians with a little joy, little peace and little hope. Oh, we shouldn't be like that. And even in the midst of the coronavirus, even in the midst of so much challenges that are around us, we should be the people who should have joy, peace and hope because we have a saviour in Jesus Christ. Now maybe you're not a Christian. Maybe you're someone who doesn't have this joy, peace 
and hope. You're concerned about death. You're concerned about the virus. You're concerned about what will happen in the future. Come and find in Jesus the joy, the hope and the peace that he alone can bring. Be like the wise men. Search for this Jesus. Seek this Jesus. The Bible says you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. Put all your heart into seeking this Jesus. Amen.